around. So let's talk sculptor to sculptor because, you know, you're one Mm -hmm. of the best sculptors that we have. What do you think um, people are um, really kind of like not doing in sculpture to really get themselves around form? You know, like what are some of the things that people just they maybe need to level up on? Study more. Uh, uh, Real talk here now. Real talk, like, come on, what's wrong with those ankles? Why would you do ankles like that, please? Well, I'm not one to critique anatomy because it's been a while since I've taken Andrew's classes. And, you know, I'm like, like, what is that muscle again? The arm mastoid thing? (laughs) Um, But real talk when it comes to like form, uh, and, you know, I can't help but, of course, I'm going through my feet. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. If only. And a lot of it is primary and secondary forms. Like I think a lot of people just go directly into the tertiary. Mm. And when I say tertiary, I think a lot of people think tertiary is the surface detail, right? Like the the more porous uh, kind of finer displacement stuff when tertiary are still forms. Like the, like say, um, you know, these, these, you know, when you look at my hand, my really gnarled hand right here and you do the squint test, you, what, you still see shadows, right? Like you see this shadow right here. Mm-hmm. That right there is tertiary forms. Tertiary forms. Mm-hmm. Secondary, probably. Primary. Secondary right here. Tertiary. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people go from like maybe say primary to tertiary disregarding the structural stuff. Yeah. Right? And I see a lot of great designs marred by that that jump from primary to tertiary so you have this really awesome design creature but it's like tertiary 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 you, know, you, you need those secondary forms to really like pop out the the landmarks like say the cheekbone the the maw to really get the skull to read mm. um and i think a lot of people uh do not practice that enough like from primary to secondary and then stay in that space don't even worry about tertiary. Make sure that you're in that space. That, that's the space where design is involved, right? You're mm. designing. That, that's, that's what you should relish. And, and that's where the perfect practice should be, in my opinion. Primary to secondary is, is design. You're designing the silhouettes, how the, the big forms intersect together, how they, how they catch the light from afar when you squint. You know, when I squint and look at you, I know it's you because of your primary and secondary shapes, right? right. Um, that's the design of your face. And then, and then from there, once you start putting the tertiary and the surface details, everything just locks into place. And knowing what, how to not um, noise up your, your model when you start putting the, the tertiary state, the shapes, like respecting the bigger forms. So I see a lot of... Uh, a lot of models that, that um, lack that thinking. And I think, and I don't know, like uh, just maybe studying more uh, classical sculpture. I don't know what the, the answer to it really like. I mean, what are your thoughts on that one? I'm curious. Well, it's interesting because I've, um, I've been talking to students and well, it was about, it's about a month ago. I started talking about um, structure a little bit. Mm-hmm. And like you mentioned, so, you know, I always ask, like, you know, what structure? And I try to get them to give me a definition. Like, what structure? What structure? And if you look up structure, structure is a relationship between parts. Mm. And so people tend to think about, and the way I like to think of it is that there's the primary and the tertiary. And um, what people do is they tend to look at object. And within that object, they look at, here's the general shape of that object. And here's a bunch of cool little details on that object, yeah, right? Yeah. And they miss how that object is then relating to the second object that's next to it, right? Mm. So like the example you gave of the hand, you know, this area right in here is now actually how all of these secondary, all of these forms are connecting. You're actually talking about, you know, the structure of yeah, stuff. That's a good way. Yeah, structure. I've never thought of it. That word yeah. that is, is key. Yeah. And, you know, if you miss that, because I can remember, I can imagine with the primary and secondary, that's where you're really finding how things fit together and mm-hmm. spending time there to design, you know, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that I think where a lot of 3D artists should focus on. 
Um, and I'm sure, you know, clay artists as well. But I don't mean to like say just 3D artists, but that's the world I'm familiar with. So like mm -hmm. 3D artists um, and the, those who are really amazing in, in 3D sculpture, uh, digital sculpture, um, like really have have that intuition of how to lock, how to interlock those forms into a way that feels structured, that feels like it could the care that all those forms can support the character as a scaffolding. And mm. it's not just a series of lumps, right? Like there's a scaffolding that holds that character up. Um, and again, that's that's the discipline that comes into that. That's that's been my practice for all this time, you know, and uh, still am practicing that. It's like a lifelong practice. So mm -hmm. start now. It's never too late, you know. Like, yeah. And it's going to up your quality. Like people who don't do it, it's going to up their quality in, in, in a way that's measurable, I feel. So. Mm.